100,000 people can enjoy a free meal every single day at the community kitchen of this building. And you might thought your mom cooks a lot. Guess which building this is until we mention it at the end. This building is surrounded by a pool, and it is connected to the shore by a marble path that's lined with lamps that create a beautiful sight at night when they light up like fireflies in camps. Can you guess what the pool is called? Here's a hint, it's not a swimming pool, a jacuzzi, or a fountain. It's actually called the Amrit Saravar, which means the pool of nectar. The water of the pool is said to cure diseases and cleanse sins. But be careful not to swallow any fish, because they are not for eating. They're actually there to keep the water clean and balanced by eating algae and insects that are fleeting. This building was built by the fifth leader of the religion in the 16th century. The building was designed to have four entrances, one on each side, symbolizing the openness and inclusiveness of the religion. Can you guess who the leader was? Here's one more hint. He was not a king, a prophet, or a saint with fame. He was actually a guru, which means teacher or master with wisdom and grace. He was Guru Aryan Dev. He also invited a Muslim divine named Mayan Mir to lay the foundation stone of the building as a gesture of interfaith harmony and peace. That's pretty impressive for someone who lived in such turbulent times. This building has a unique architecture that combines two different styles with flair. The exterior of the building is covered with gold plates that give it a dazzling appearance that makes people stare. The interior of the building is decorated with marble, mirrors, paintings and floral motifs that show care. The dome of the building is shaped like an inverted lotus and has a golden spire on top that reaches high in the air. Can you guess which styles are combined? Here's your final hint, they are not modern, classical, or gothic styles that are rare. They are actually Hindu and Muslim styles that reflect the fusion of these two cultures and religions that influenced Sikhism and its art and architecture with flair. This building has a free community kitchen, that serves meals to thousands of visitors, every day with love and humility. The kitchen is run by volunteers, who cook, serve, and clean with devotion and responsibility. The food is vegetarian and is prepared with fresh ingredients with quality. The kitchen can feed up to 100,000 people in a single day. Can you guess what the kitchen is called? Here's the answer. It's called the Guru Ram Das Longer, or Free Community Kitchen in Sikhism with Nobility. Anyone can eat in the longer, regardless of their background or status with civility. The food is simple but delicious. The longer is also a great place to make new friends and share stories with people from different cultures and countries with curiosity. But don't eat too much, because you might get a stomach. And now it's time to reveal the name of this building that has so many incredible facts and secrets. The name of this building is the Golden Temple. Yes, that's right. The Golden Temple is the most sacred site of Sikhism and one of the most lavish buildings in India. It is also known as the Harmander Sahib, which means, the abode of God, or the Darbar Sahib, which means, the exalted court. The Golden Temple is located in Amritsar, Punjab state. And if you want to see more videos like this, there are two other videos in my channel one is a mansion covered with 700,000 sheets of gold and another one. You can click on them right now up and tour our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to watch them. I have many more amazing places and stories to show you, so stay tuned for more. الله بقلب سليم وأزلفت الجنة للمتقين وبرزت الجحيم 